Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Ko from Blue Tree Education. Right, in this video, I'm sharing on Nanyang Primary Mathematics Prelims 2021. Right, let's look at some interesting questions. All right. This is a question on circles. The figure shows a circle and four identical semicircles drawn inside a square of 12 centimeters. O is the center of the circle. Find the circumference of the circle. Take pi as 3.14. So looking for the circumference is pretty straightforward. We know that the diameter is 12 centimeter of one circle. So the circumference is just pi d, right? pi times the diameter, 3.14 times 12 cm, which is 37.68 centimeters. All right, that's no problem at all. Let's look at part B. Part B asks, what is the total area of the shaded parts? Take pi as 3.14. So I'm going to draw the redraw this diagram again by using cut and paste. I'm going to cut and cut and paste a few things. I'm going to cut from this side. I'm going to cut and paste over here. I'm also going to cut and paste this diagram over to here, as well as the, from this side to here. So in the end, my diagram will look like this. Okay, so to find the total area of this shaded part is the same as looking for this big triangle, take away these three unshaded parts in the triangle, right? So let's look for figure X, Y, and Z, right? So the area of the whole big triangle is simply half times base times height, which is 0.5 times 12 times 12, right? Because the base of the triangle is 12 cm, the height is also 12 cm, and we get 72 square centimeters. Next, let's find the area of X. Now, area of X is the same as the area of the square take away the area of a quadrant. So the area of the square looks like that. This is the area of the square. All right, take away the area of the quadrant. This is the quadrant. Okay, so the area of the square is six centimeter by six centimeter. So it's just six times six. All right, six times six, take away a quadrant. A quadrant is half, one quarter times 3.14 times six, times six, right? One quarter pi times r times r. And I get 7.74 square centimeters. Now let's take a look at y and z. Now area of y and area of z are the same. So to find that, it is simply area of y or z is simply the area of a quadrant take away the area of a triangle. Now, area of quadrant looks like that. It's the area of a quadrant, All right? Take away the area of the triangle, All right? You get this, this figure. And since these two are the same, right? So this is also figure y. It's the same area. Okay, so area of the quadrant is one quarter times pi times r times r, one quarter times three point four times six times six. Take away area of the triangle. Area of triangle is one half times six times six half times base times height. Right, the base of this triangle is six centimeter. Right, and the height is six centimeter as well. Okay, so we get ten point two six square centimeter, and since x. No, since Y and Z are the same area, okay, the whole shaded area, the whole shaded area is the area of the big triangle, which is 72, okay, let's see, stylus, okay, 72 is the whole triangle, take away the area of X, take away Y, take away Z, and y and z are the same value because they are the same area. And we get 43.74 square centimeters. 
All right, so I hope you have learned something in this question. Let's see you again in the next video. See ya.